we're Rita and Anthony, and in 2014, we set up on a trip around the world. Say hello to all the people back home working and gutted, gutted. In September 2018, we started converting an old school minibus into our fully functioning tiny home on wheels. In this, the final episode of our van conversion series, we have less than three days to buy and fit our gas system, build a table, clean up, clear the scrap from our entire project, all before packing our things into the van to catch an early morning ferry four hours away. Last time we finished our bathroom area, laid down our floor and put brilliant white paint on everything. We had a Sunday picnic inauguration event for Mabu, and then it's back to work for our final three days before leaving to Holland on the ferry. It's go time! Okay, so just before we attach the table to the mechanism, so if anyone wants to build on the can, what we've got here is a place for our table leg to slot into. That's attached to this, and then there is another mechanism which slides out. So, when the table is over here, you can use it on this side or on that side, you know, you can turn it around, but then you can also slide it out and you can use it along the edge over there. Yeah, it needs to be secured in on the ground properly. That's the mechanism, just that piece. You can have a nice extendable table. You could even put a second piece of plywood underneath and have the extension come out over the lower piece so you could easily fit a table of four or five people along a van like this mm. with that sliding mechanism. Like <laughs> load. Bitches. Okay, so I'm setting up the gas system today and it's been a while, we've got so many things done. So we've gone with Gaslow, we've got a small 2.7 kilo bottle here. You can get much bigger ones, you can get five, uh, or sorry, six and 11 kilo ones as well. Ours is gonna go on this little back step here. So it's obviously a big part of the build. Um, you know, one of the big three, gas, water, electric, you know, you put a lot of money into doing these bits for the van and the utilities. There are a lot of things that you need to take into account when, when building this, especially if you're going to be going around Europe. You know, everyone has different systems, different valve connections, um, different regulations and all sorts. So we've done all that reading and it's been really hard to find good concrete information or, you know, put it all together. So I'm hoping to just put together what we've figured out. Um, and, and help anyone out. So this is a refillable bottle. Um, if you're in the UK, generally you can just get cal or gas, you know, you swap and replace, you give the can back. Uh, we keep this can and it's filled up at LPG stations. So, so any petrol station, most will have an LPG section to it and you can just grab the, the nozzle and fill up on these. These should be in um, a sealed container, airtight container, with a dropout vent below. So any of, if any of this gas does escape, it's heavier than air, so it will go down through the pipe and you have to make a hole to the ground so that any gas building up in the, in the box can escape uh, freely into the open air. So, I'm gonna get this set up. All right, so here's where our can is going. So I'm gonna use wood, um, seal it all up and I'll probably put a drop vent right in the corner here so it hangs over and put it down the side there. That'll work out well. Also similarly around the side, I think this is where we'll just have the exit to go out and we'll put our filler cap about here, somewhere here. So then we'll have petrol, sorry diesel, LPG, all in one place, sorted. Uh, this regulator is actually going to go right in behind there at the back of the fridge and there's a little gap here for the hose to go through uh, but I may just drill a hole there as well. Look who's arrived! Who? Who has arrived? Me. It's you. <laughs> 
Did you tell them that we're installing like gas system? Yeah, I rambled on for like 10 minutes, but I'll probably <laughs> cut it down a bit. I tried to like pass on what we've learned after struggling oh. and being on the internet like, oh. I know. I think I was quite lucky with it. That was right. Yeah, that was the funny thing. Like we went to two or three gas stores and they just had no clue about <laughs> what we were doing. Go to the okay, caravan store and he's before. like the expert on everything <laughs> yeah. to do with it. So yeah, we should have a nice gas system set up. And the fridge is a compressor fridge, so it doesn't need gas. No gas. So will, I'm yeah. focusing on this right now. Yeah, yeah, totally. You focus. I'm just speaking, innit? Yeah, innit? <laughs> In it. Yeah. So now when we have a gas system, we can finally test <laughs> half of our appliances. Ooh. Yeah, and then that gives a bit of space for the bodywork between your metal and plastic bumpers or whatever. They just like clamp together when you screw in. Yeah, we That's need it. to find a place for it. Yeah, alright, let's go do that. Okay. How a beautiful van. Only one hole for diesel, and this won't be as smooth and beautiful for much longer. Why? What are you doing, Anthony? I'm about to put another hole in the van. <laughs> it's gonna be the mm -hmm. fill point for LPG. Okay. <sighs> I'm ready. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Oh, I'm all the gear right here, you don't want to wear all the gear and no idea. That's better. Okay, we went through the wood, now we're gonna go through our insulation. What is this? Uh-huh, there's a hole. Hello. <laughs> we have a spot. Hold it out of our hand. Well, now it's going to be a big hole. Oh no. It's amazing how thin the actual metal of the van is. Like you think, you know, this is a vehicle, you drive around mm -hmm. it, and that it's got some kind of... <laughs> Rigidity, yeah, like, yeah, so it's thin. thin metal. Yeah, it's like, it's like one well, millimeter. Structure, isn't it? Yeah, so that's structure, yeah. All... I mean, metal is stronger, a lot stronger than what we think. Yeah, oh, okay, scratching up the paperwork we spent ages on. Please don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, such thin metal. How has this taken so long? You just go. It's a wide surface area now. It's just like it's blunting the edges of this. Yeah, you're fine right there. Let me get that other one on it, because that one's definitely cut through that one. Well, I thought I'd just show you some of the things we've made since we haven't been filming. We've got this book stand here just above the bed. Oh, I don't know if we actually showed we got the mattress. It's an IKEA mattress and there's a throw we got for that, which Rita's just cleaning up now. We're getting it washed the first. Uh, it's kind of got a strange smell to it. It came from Germany and it's brand new, got a weird smell, so we're gonna wash it. Um, this, it's all made of oak, uh, so it's got some areas we can just put in books and quickly grab things. Here's gonna be for more for like electronics and bits and bobs that we just wanna get out of the way. It's all coming together now. We've really just been rushing to get this done on time as we've got our ferry booked for this week. We are leaving Thursday night to travel on Friday all day. Um, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> we just made sure that everything's fitting and that we're ready to go. So last job is get this gas can installed and hopefully tomorrow or today we'll go fill it up. On the last day, as expected. 
and still haven't packed it up. Yeah, and we've yeah, still got to pack up our things yeah. and we've still got to build a little bracket for the table. Which oh is actually God. on there right now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. center we have to uh, obviously back our things back up the room and yeah, not, not, we've done zero packing zero. zero and we have to finish some things in a van like gas put the, put fix the gas converter, box in. some brackets here and there Woo! so good luck to us eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are at the terminal for the ferry to the Netherlands and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 made it, yeah. was it, with 10 minutes to spare, but the check-in yeah, is open like, it's true, it's true, I mean, yeah, the, the, are done, so. the ferry doesn't leave for another 50, uh, 50 hours, 50, 50 minutes or something, yeah. so, uh, we have oh, to move forward. So, actually, I wanted to say that this video, I think I started it when I was setting up the gas the other day, explaining about the gas can. Okay. And then we had this one little problem, which was that the gas can, the gas setup didn't have the little uh, rubber washers inside. So we were like, oh, we really need to get these quickly. So we just ran to the shop, stopped doing everything. Um, and we were looking around at different shops, finding the rings, and then we're like, we had to get something else, like the, like the crimp tool, oh, yeah. and and that sparked off a whole chain of events of like, oh, we need to get this done, and oh. we really need to get that done, and just finalizing everything, all the little final pieces, and then we had like meetups with some friends and things like, yeah, like leaving party sort of things, yeah, yeah, leaving, and leaving. so it just went went on a mad one, like basically. It's been 24 hours almost exactly since we woke up. It's 8 a.m. Yeah. 8 in the morning. 8 15. And uh, we didn't sleep last night. We just worked all the yeah. way to all night. 3. And we got some new additions. What we, did we? Yeah, we had the book stand. What, else, what did I put in? Oh, yeah. The uh, projector. You see the projector? So we got a bar put oh, in over yeah. there so this can like, roll down. And, so you can uh, view it from our sofa or from outside yeah yeah because we filmed when we were going to the dump and the table just went boom <laughs> oh yeah, we yeah that fun video that's true that's true oh it's a little bit of a stressful moment yeah but it's okay but yeah it felt good but when we yeah, dumped all yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the recycling no all the wood the and it was good it was like a weight lifted you know when you get rid of your physical things and we did that yesterday so yesterday mm -hmm. what the yeah. yesterday was supposed to be just packing and getting the van like fully ready you know topping of water topping of gas and literally packing but we did so much work yesterday and also packed and also went to the dump yeah. and then we didn't sleep and drove for well you drove four hours yeah four to, hours no sleep to and harsh. literally i think like a couple of minutes we were doing stuff right up till the minute we had to leave everything just fit perfectly together yeah, it's <laughs> and, true. all the green lights they were all yeah, on for yeah. us <laughs> <laughs> Police officer came by just oh, like because I was yeah. emptying the waste water tank. I realized that we, we did a water test of the system and uh, we left all of the, the water in the waste tank. Mm. Yeah, so I was I had my head torch on, I was under the, the car, the van at like 2 3 a.m. in the morning, and this police officer <laughs> pulled up. He's like, You're right there. <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, I just emptying my water tank. And he's like, a Bit of a weird time to do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I explained yeah. uh, that I thought for a second like he could, he could just, uh -huh. you never know, like people get funny about us. Yeah, sort of stuff, I you know? honestly thought that someone called on us because well we were being a bit loud. We were, yeah, like but, we you were know, was moving drilling things around. and banging things around. And yeah, yeah, it's still drilling, that's <laughs> true. But I think all the neighbors are so used to us doing things, yeah, especially late around. into the evening, because you know we always tend to work 
super late. <laughs> but it's surprising, like we didn't sleep all night and worked so hard yesterday. We, we didn't sleep much for the last few nights, maybe like four or five four hours, hours each yeah. night. Entering the port to go on the ferry. Done this before, I'm not sure where I'm going. <laughs> uh, yes, we are 2.7 high and 5.4 long. Thank you. Thank you. steps between it as well like go on just break my shin <laughs> okay so hey, here we are, we are on, on the, the ferry, ferry. we made it <laughs> we made it oh, we made it <laughs> well yeah we still need to sail there but yes. yeah yeah we're here i'm just gonna sleep oh my god yes so now it's 8 30 or something and we're gonna be in holland at five in the afternoon so we have like eight hours to sleep right. yes yes let's get some snacks drinks and go sleep there's your ticket Melina awesome thank you I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that we can't stay in the ferry you know in, in our bus I mean not in the ferry we can't stay in our bus I know I just like sleep right, <laughs> yeah. right now I'm can we just right pretend here? that you're the only person here and then you know, I I'll go just, in there yeah, and you stay sleep. and sleep here? Uh, no, 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 no. For a missing passenger. I've still got my engine on. Oh, yeah, why? It's just okay. a female. Sorry. Let's get out of here and. Alright, remember to put our GB go. sticker on when we come back. Of course. Okay. Wait, I want to do that thing. So, we'll see you in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, yeah. Brilliant, I just do it. <laughs> 